Millions of people across the south are bracing for another round of heavy rain today as the remnants of Hurricane Patricia slam the Gulf Coast. The strong storms have dumped more than a half a foot of rain in parts of Louisiana and Mississippi, triggering flood warnings. David Begno has more from Biloxi, Mississippi. Overnight, powerful storms battered the Gulf Coast. In Baton Rouge, Louisiana, eight and a half inches of rain lashed the capital city Sunday. More than 1,000 people lost power in their homes as the remnants of Hurricane Patricia continue to move across the south. So far, Texas has seen the worst of the flooding. Over the weekend, record amounts of rainfall in several cities left cars submerged. Their drivers stranded and prompted dozens of water rescues. In Houston, we saw Duck Nguyen staring at his stranded sedan. It was stuck for more than nine hours. Duck says when he drove under the overpass, there were no barricades to stop him and he couldn't see flood water. He says he was in the right-hand lane. He hit water and his car moved left. It stalled, so he got out and abandoned it. At midnight, he says the water was near the tire level. By 4 a.m., it was nearly submerged. 18 inches of rain fell in Corsicana, Texas. They just kicked the window in. Their emergency crew spotted this pickup truck nearly submerged. Inside, they rescued an 80-year-old man and his dog, trapped by quickly rising water. David Bagno joins us now from Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, we saw the video from your story where you were in the middle of the street. Now I see you're on the beach, and conditions look pretty rough out there. Yeah, look, the wind has really picked up here in Biloxi, Mississippi. It's starting to lift and head toward the northeast, but you've got cities like Biloxi, Birmingham, Pensacola, east toward the Florida Panhandle that are all under a threat of flash flooding today. And we're talking about roughly 2 million people along the Gulf Coast that are dealing with these remnants of what you said is Hurricane Patricia. What was? David, how severe is the damage? Uh, you know, look, I, I don't want to overstate it. The damage is not severe in terms of homes that are damaged. But, you know, I mean, think about it. We started on this Friday night, okay? And we, you know, Corsicana, south of Dallas, you saw the man who was rescued from his truck, the 80-year-old man and his dog. You had a, a train, 42 train cars that derailed because the water rushing underneath literally flipped them over on the side. The two engineers on the train had to swim to safety. They tried to stop the train, but it rolled into flood water before they could. Then we headed south to Houston, where they got more than 9 to 10 inches of rain. You saw the video out of there, the man staring at his car. He said there were no barriers barricades as he drove in to the underpass, all of a sudden his car stalled and he was out. There were several rescues. One man clung to a tree in Houston. Then last night we headed toward Louisiana. A lot of flooding along the Louisiana Gulf Coast. Nothing catastrophic. And now here in Biloxi, again, we've got some of these rain bands that are really coming in from the coast, bringing heavy rain and wind, and it will continue. So if you live in Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi, Florida, you are going to see rain today. The question is, how much? But the uh, the flooding and the wind, that is not the only thing that the Gulf Coast has been dealing with. There were also uh, tornado watches, right? Yeah, there was a tornado watch, at least here in Biloxi. There was a woman who was trapped in her mobile home, we're told. She was okay. A small twister uh, blew through here. But again, that has expired. The flash flood watch is really what is threatening the entire Gulf Coast and will be for the next 12 to 24 hours. All right, David Begno for us. Thank you.